In this video, we're going to show you end-to-end -end anastomosis on the femoral vein of the rat. The venous anastomosis is significantly more difficult to complete than arterial anastomosis. Veins wall are much thinner because they lack of smooth muscles, and that makes them easier to damage while you dissecting them and working with them. Once the femoral artery and vein have been exposed, carefully dissect around the vein using blunt dissection by identifying the vascular sheath. To expose the underside of the vein, gently grab the adventitia and lift. The vein has less adventitia than the artery, so be careful when you manipulate the vessel. Like with the artery, vein also has large Murphy branch. Carefully dissect the Murphy branch free. Sometimes there are multiple branches, as seen here. Ligate, cauterize, and cut the Murphy branch. Small branches might be just cauterized and cut without ligation. However, larger branches always have to be ligated to ensure that bleeding does not occur and the uh, hot cautery will not damage the intima of the vein. Now with the vein free, place a blue background underneath the vein. Now we're going to put a double clamp with a frame on the vein. At this point, consider the placement of your Murphy branch. If the stamp is more proximally distal, you can leave it untouched. But be sure not to place the clamp directly on the stamp. That might prevent the clamp from working properly and in some cases cause some bleeding. If the Murphy branch falls directly in the middle of the field, as it does here, we advise you to resect the portion of the vessel containing the Murphy branch. We will want to place the clamp so the Murphy stump will be excised. When the placing the clamp and putting the vein inside the clamp, you need to allow yourself a more room to cut the stump out. Now we excising the stump of the Murphy branch. To do so, place your micro scissors directly adjacent to the stamp and carefully, hopefully in one moment, cut the vessel. Quickly flush the vessel with heparinized saline so the clot will not form and complete the resection by holding the stump of the Murphy branch with your jewelers and carefully and slowly cutting along the opposite edge. Now we can cut the adventitia from the vein edge. Remember to keep the scissors parallel to the lumen as you cut the adventitia so you do not nick the vessel. Once the adventitia had been cleared, move the clamps slowly together using angled jeweler's forceps with two hands. A total of eight stitches will be placed during this venous anastomosis. The first, we're gonna place a six o'clock stay. The dilator or micro uh, forceps will be placed in the lumen of the vein to help with the placement of the first stitch. Remember, always take your bites under highest magnification. The position of the first stitch will set the tone for your entire anastomosis. And it is very important to make sure that the stitch is truly in a six o'clock position. The second bite of the stitch will be placed directly opposite the first. Sometimes 
you can take the bite under tension to make sure you see where your truly edge is. Once the stitch is complete, but before the cutting the suture, wrap the suture around the clamp in a figure eight fashion to create some tension of the anastomosis. When putting 12 o'clock stay, you can use the needle as a hook to help the forcep inside the lumen and stretch the edge of the vein to pick up appropriate size bite. For the second part of this stitch, you can use the tip of the needle under tension to pick up appropriate size and position for this stitch. You can place the edge of the vasodilator or straight jeweler's forcep inside the lumen. Make sure you stretch the edge of the vein to pick up appropriate bite. And for the second bite, lift up on the tip of the needle to avoid the back wall. Make sure the bites are equal and quite small, about one or two diameters of the needle from the edge. Leave one of the end of a stitch longer to use as a tag to navigate for the two remaining stitches on the front wall. Now let's take a moment and discuss a few mistakes that could be done during the vein anastomosis. One mistake that can be made is to take two larger bites. Large bites can create a flap inside the lumen, which can cause inadvertently catching the back wall. Another mistake, which is, which is very common, is adventitial stitch only. When people do not use enough magnification and put the stitches through adventitia only without catching the lumen. Let's return to our anastomosis now. Next, we're gonna put two more stitches at the front. We're gonna bisect the distance between the stay and three o'clock stitch. We recommend that you flip the clamp over to check if you accidentally caught the back wall. It is easier to pull the stitch out and redo it then to cut it out later. Flip the clamp over to complete the stitches on the back wall. Complete the back wall stitches using the same technique that was demonstrated on the front wall. When the last stitch is placed, flip the clamp back over, cut the stay stitches, and remove the clamp. The low blood pressure clamp always removed first.
Some bleeding at this point is normal. Place the fat pad over the anastomosis for a few minutes. Then remove the fat pad and examine the anastomosis. Unlike the artery, we do not recommend to perform the empty and refill test of the vein. Instead, we recommend you put the pickup underneath of the vessel and follow the direction of the flow and see the blood follows your forceps. If the vessel refills with blood, you know that your anastomosis is patent. You can also complete the vein anastomosis with a different clamp that does not have a frame around it. Then this clamp has more clinical application, but it's more challenging to use. Place the stays at 6 and 12 o'clock as shown previously. The only difference between using the clamp without the frame is that you will need to use the tails of the stays and the 3 o'clock stitch to maintain the tension as you complete the anastomosis. If your first venous anastomosis is not successful, do not worry. Vein is challenging and requires a lot of practice to master the appropriate technique.